Hello friends, and welcome back to the Blockchain Report where we discuss all things blockchain technology, digital assets, DeFi, NFTs, and much more. Today's video will be continuing our series on the Beginner's Guide to the Blockchain, and we will dive into gaming and technology. Not going to cover a whole lot, because it's just, the gaming, it's a... Uh, it's not as popular it, in other countries outside of America. Some of these are more popular because of the the incentives that you get. But go ahead and dive into it with a couple virtual worlds. So there's one that's missing on here called Sandbox. And if you go to CoinGecko, this is where you can find all the projects. Um, the Sandbox. And yeah, and this is another uh, virtual world. So Sandbox is, you know, a, a metaverse or a virtual world where you can buy and sell digital land and create your own avatar, play games in the land, and yeah, there's a, a whole map. Um, let's see. Sandbox and Decentraland are two of the biggest ones. You see how, just how massive this world is? Each one of these little squares right here. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, each one of these little squares comes with a plot of land. I wonder what that is. What chain it's on. Oh, all these are on Polygon. Oh, Ethereum. Yeah. And these, uh, let's see if we make an offer. No, I don't want to do that right now. Buy land. Let's see what lands for sale. Whoo, nineteen thousand. Yeah, some of these like five and a half ETH. A lot of people bought these way, way before it was popular. But you can see stuff for sale. We'll have the little price tags up here. Going around between one, one and a half Ethereum. So a thousand or around fifteen hundred bucks. Get you one of these little plots. You can go in and and there's there's a plots that Sandbox owns. And you can own up these like four squares and then put your own little One little thing on here, see three by three. So three squared by three squares. So ultimately nine squares. So three by three. You can do two by two. So they, yeah, what can you do? Start building, earn special rewards, exclusive landowner staking, sell your land, publish and monetize your experience. You can go in here. I wonder if. I don't have an avatar, so can't really play. So until you get some land, I, I don't really know how to to go around here and play. But that just like the center land, they got their virtual world and I've actually been the I've attended a uh, what is it an EDM show in the Decentraland they actually streamed it live and it was pretty cool you can build in there create your own avatars just like the 
uh, sandbox. And they got the marketplace and stuff. I'm not sure. I think the sandbox is more popular. Excuse me a second. Allergies kicking this week. So yeah, you can go to the marketplace, go to the overview, newest items, rankings, latest listing, parcels and estates. Whoo! Okay, that's mana. Let's see how much is mana right now. The Centerland coin is mana. So 41 cents. So about 3k for this parcel. Whew. About two and a half. Yeah. So you can see they're not they're not super cheap. So Decentraland, Sandbox. I would choose Sandbox over Decentraland, but and sand. What was the price in sandbox? Oh, I don't like that. A little bit more. But if you're interested in any of those, check those out. They're pretty cool. Places to explore. Crypto voxels. Never really spent any time on here, but you can buy land, build on it, and customize avatar and wearables. It's not very popular. It doesn't look very good at all. <laughs> I think it's just kind of a fun thing to to do. And some some of the gaming aspects, you got Axie Infinity, Gods Unchained, and Dark Forest. And there's another game. I don't remember if... I don't remember what it is. This is Axie Infinity. You need to buy one of these little Axies, Adopt Axie, and you can play. Yeah, you have to download Ronin Wallet, get Axie, create an account, and play. Now the marketplace, you can see how much these go for. Okay, these are land sales. We want just axes. We can get one for a couple bucks. Minus the the gas fees. So maybe ten bucks in total if you want one. And you can also buy land. They have the axiverse or whatever the Not really feeling a thousand for this, but you can do the items and bundles. But it's pretty I guess it's pretty fun. I think I think my brother got one. And you can battle each other. It might have been a different I think it was a different game, but something similar. turn-based game and you can win you can win money in the game to use outside in real world so that's why it's really popular in other countries where they're able to really utilize the play to earn aspect because in America it's just not really popular because of the incentives that they just don't, uh, it's just not worth it, in my opinion. But Axie, it's a cool one to check out. You got land, sales, a little metaverse, but everyone's got a fucking metaverse now. Gods Unchained, similar trading card game that pays to play. You can buy expansion packs and buy regular packs.
rare, epic, shiny, legendary. Okay, go to expansions. I've never actually played this, but art looks really dope. <clears throat> Art looks really dope. Where is my... Oh, one sec. With my tea just sitting here. Let me some tea. Yeah, okay, here's the cards that you can search for. You can go to the different settings right here. Ooh, wow. I want to see what the most expensive card in here is. Let's see. Ooh, shit. Half a mil for this? Uh, listed six months ago. Shit. That's pretty dope. Yeah, if you're interested in these cards, they're pretty pretty cool. I mean, you can get some cheap ones for a few bucks, less than a few bucks. Uh, and this is immutable. Yeah, in a lot of these games, you can play on different chains. Like, Immutable X is a another blockchain that is more for gaming. And you can play it on... Ethereum as well. Other chains are cheaper to use, but yeah, that's that's that. Uh, I don't know what Dark Forest is. Okay, is there just um? Just another game, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Dark Forest. Conquer planets in an infinite, procedurally generated, cryptographically specified universe. If you're into it, go check it out. We'll move on to some technology to finish this off. Excuse me. And Ethereum name service. This one's a pretty cool one for creating your, giving your uh, name to your wallets, websites, and more, so people can just send you like your name dot eth, and they can send you Ethereum with just that. No more of these long, you know, crazy letters and numbers. You can just have your name or something dot eth well your name might not work anymore because they people have probably used it up yeah so the most widely integrated blockchain naming standard and there's other domain name services for Cardano for Binance for Aptos for uh, a bunch of them Solana Avalanche. One name for all of your addresses. No more copying, pasting long addresses. Use your ENS to store all of your addresses and receive any cryptocurrency, token, or NFT. <laughs> Launch censorship or decentralized websites with your ENS. Upload your website to IPFS and access it with your ENS name. And you can also use ENS with DNS names that you already own. And a little ecosystem for uses. So you can go in here, go to the app. And what's crazy is if you bought one of these a few years ago when it was um, when they were relatively cheap and 
didn't have a token, people who got like ten thousand dollars or tens of thousands, at least ten thousand dollars worth of ENS tokens. So let's say blockchain report. <clears throat> This person bought it when interesting. It does not show when it was registered. Hmm. It looks like they just bought a bunch of them and Okay. Yeah, so you can go in here and just search for something that you'd like. If it's uh you can buy it for I don't know however long. They have different terms and services. <clears throat> I have one on Aptos, I think. I don't have one on any other one yet, but it's a cool idea. It's easy to just give out whatever name .eth or .ada helps with the payments for sure. Golem and Radical. So Golem is access shared computing power or rent your own resources. Foster is a global group of re uh, creators building ambitious software solutions that will shape the technological landscape of future generations by accessing computing resources across the platform. So Golem Network is an accessible, reliable, open access and censorship resistant protocol. Democratizing access to digital resources and connecting users through a flexible open source platform. Users can connect users can connect with ease and pay each other for sharing their unused resources. Golem's democratized access combined with unique peer-to-peer -peer exchange creates an unstoppable eco ecosystem for a myriad of cases, use cases to be born, allowing software developers to leverage their creativity more than ever. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. So if you're interested in developing on here. You can also become a provider for computing power and also check network statistics. And really as we get better <coughs> better technology, all this all of this will develop so fast. I mean once we get better, you know, physical hardware and the chips get faster, everything's going to be able to just streamline so much easier. You can rent, earn, take part, check out the stats, average earnings per task. I don't know what GLM is, but it looks like the token, GLM, Golem, yeah, 22 cents. Okay, what's the what's the high? What's the max? Did we hit a dollar? We hit a do oh wait, a long time ago. Shoot. So eighty cents. Yeah. Radical X Y Z secure peer to peer code collaboration without intermediaries. I mean, kind of like uh, GitHub. No, built on Git. Yeah, another code repository. Your code infrastructure site. Really good to have. Really good to have. Gitcoin, earn crypto, working on open source software. You can essentially aim uh, to decentralize funding access, empowering any community to run their own grants program. So they have... Uh, you can explore grants protocols, see Gitcoin grants. <coughs> to 
Discover and fund public goods. You can view all the grants, Gitcoin grants. This is a really good idea for just bringing people on and to help build in the space. You can check the different stuff, different grants. Let's just check one out. Green Academy. Just check this out. If it loads. So there, it's not loading. Okay, we'll look at this. So this is a grant, Ethereum Staking Guides, Ubuntu. Estimated lifetime funding received. <clears throat> I've created a series of similar set mainnet and testnet staking guides on Ubuntu for this and this. These guides are intended for new and immediate users. Okay. Okay, so this is how much people have received. Interesting. So you can go in here and and pay for people's grants too. So you can create your own and come in here. That's really cool. That's really cool. So if you need a grant and they got some stuff in here that is of your interest, get it. Get in on it. We'll go into these last two. Opera, send crypto from your browser to merchants, other users, or apps. One second. Okay. So I guess this is just a uh, Opera Crypto browser. That's so why I have Brave, this Brave browser. I haven't used Opera, but Opera and Brave. Brave, I've been using oh, for a little while. So I like it, I like the interface and stuff, but you can see a use case for, for Opera. I'd have to do a little bit more digging into it and see how secure it is. Oh, and they got a little dashboard right here. That's cool. I don't know if I'd want Telegram though. I'm not sure why these are on the Ethereum network, but it's good to show these as well. And Brave I mean, here you can come in here to the settings, and they got so much stuff of blocking, uh, social media blocking and stuff. You get your own little built-in wallet, too. Done. Yeah. I'll do the auto tip. But yeah, that's uh, really about it. I know there's a lot more in the Ethereum space, but this is just a good foundation to, uh, 
to have give you a good understanding of what there is out there and yeah with that being said we'll explore you know what we'll explore next what ecosystem maybe polka dot maybe cardano i think cardano will be next i really like cardano and what it has to offer the speed and the the more cost effective uh blockchain but that being said appreciate y'all for hanging out with me today checking out this ethereum ecosystem and i'll catch you on the next one peace